in this video we're going to be unboxing the smart wi-fi pro and the smart hub pro which is the newest ee wi-fi 7 tech so here's the smart hub pro now just open it up now at the top there's two instruction manuals with a qr code to scan which shows you everything to set it up but i'm going to go through some of that now in this video So if we lift the device out, you have four Ethernet ports at the back. You have the phone for digital voice, and you also have the WAN cable, obviously, for the fiber, and a USB port. And you also have the WPS button on the back of the hub. In here we have the power supply. And it comes with a Ethernet cable to connect to the WAN port. And that's everything for that box. So let's move on to the Smart Wi-Fi Pro. So these boxes come sealed with a security tag. So I'm just going to grab a knife here to cut these open. So this comes with another instruction manual at the top. So the device itself it has two Ethernet ports in the back, whereas previously you only would have had one on a smart Wi-Fi disk from BT or EE. We have another power supply here. So this power supply is actually different to the one on the, the main hub itself. It has a different connector, whereas previously, I think on the smart hub 2, they would have been the same. They would have worked anyway on one another. And then we have another Ethernet cable just for connecting them both up. And here's the other instruction manual, which is just the same as the first one. So if you scan that QR code, it'll take you through to the app, which will assist you in setting up. So here I'm going to show you how to set up the Smart Wi-Fi Pro and the Smart Hub Pro. So there's the power cables plugged in there. And then on the bottom of the devices, which I didn't show earlier, is where you put the power cable in so there's two there's one on each obviously so if we turn the device around you just need to connect the ethernet cable that came with it or any ethernet cable for that matter to the yellow ports on back of both of the hubs so once you connect them both in you'll notice that the the booster it will start going Oh, it'll flash orange until it's ready. So I sped up this next part. It took roughly 40 seconds or so, and then it goes solid aqua. And then you just remove both ends and you can place this wherever you want in the house. So now that that's set up, we're gonna move over to method two. So in method two, we're gonna connect them using the WPS button on the back of both devices. This is if you've misplaced your um, Ethernet cable or if it's not working for you. So once you press both these buttons on the back of the hub, they'll both start flashing blue. I think with this method, it took me about one minute 20, but I've sped it up again. It flashes aqua for quite a while and then it will go solid aqua again at the end. So that's it all connected now. So if this has helped you guys, please subscribe. Drop a like. Thanks.